たのは出てきたのは拳くらいの大きさのガラス大だった。I'm sorry, so, no, ガラス玉。はい。And in this case, it repairs as dama for 連絡。はい。ガラス玉だった。出てきたのは、that which came out, 拳くらいの大きさの The glass, it was a glass ball that is of the size of a fist. Perfect. Nebari ga matiagaru to tamawa usui hai iro no hi zashi o hi. Abite from Abiru. Abite from Abiru. Abite. <coughs> Dama, Dama wa usui. Dama wa usui. Hai iro no hizashi. Hizashi o. Arabite. Mizu, mizu no, mizu ni ukabu abura no yo ni nichiro ni kirame, kirameta. Hi, can you read this word for me again? Da, tama. Hi, Tama. And this one? Next to Dama. it. Dama. Hi, 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 hi. Perfect. Tama and Dama. And this one right here, you read wrong. Uh, it is Abidu, not Arabidu. It's just Ah, Ah. Abidu. And this one, I know you know, but just double checking. Mochi hi, hi, hi. Mochi ageru. Perfect. Okay, so where's our first clause? Mochi ageru to Mochi ageru to Neburi ga mochi ageru to When Neburi grabs and lift it hmm. Tama wa usui hai iro no Usui hai iro no hizashi o Um, abite. Hi, abite. The gray color, a weak, a soft, a soft light, a soft gray light, ray, a light ray. Uh, abite. It, 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 it. It flows. It f Abidu it is used when you take a shower, when you or when you take a bath, or when you sunbathe. Abidu is to soak up. It absorbs. It soaks right. it. Right. It so absorbs. what observed the light? It absorbed the tama the the uh, the jewels. The ball. The ball. Hi. Ball. It absorbed the ray of the, the the soft gray rays of light. Hi. And what kind of ray of light it is? Um, contextually, is this like a light from a light bulb, light from the sun, light from a magical spell? What light do you think this is? These are the light that is um. Where does this light come from? It has to do with the word hizashi means. Hizashi is a sunlight. So sunlight. sunlight. If it was other kind of light, we'd use like the word like hikari, for example. 
but he's actually let us know specifically it's a ray of sunlight. Now, contextually, it's not mentioned in this paragraph. Do you know why the sunlight is gray rather than perhaps yellow? It has to do with the weather, it's my hint. I see. It's a cloudy day. So, so it's a cloudy day. So the sunlight is a faint gray color. And that is soaked up inside of this, the ta tama. Um, and what else does this tama do? Um, kirameta. Kirameta. Niti iro ni kirameta. Niti iro ni kirameta. From kirameku. It's glisten. Right. Yeah. And what kind of way does it glisten? It's glisten as the rainbow. It glisten in the as a rainbow on as the rainbow of as the rainbow floating on. Hi, right, so we have two different things going on here, two different adverbs. For example, if you say she um, quickly, slowly jumps, that is still grammatically correct. Um, you wouldn't probably use quickly and slowly as two adverbs together simply because they have opposite meanings. But there's nothing stopping verbs from taking multiple adverbs stacked on top of each other. I'm just not good at thinking about adverbs um, on top of my head. Um, he swiftly, quickly runs out of the room. That is fine. You know she's running quickly and she's running swiftly. You can you can stack them. It's perfectly fine. Um, it's not really wrong to stack adverbs. And that's what's going on here. We have our first adverb, which is nijiro, which is originally a no, a noun. Um, so it kiramikus, it glitters in a rainbow-like way. It doesn't glitter in a sparkly kind of way. It doesn't glitter in a white kind of way. It glitters, and the glittering color is like a rainbow. And then it also goes over to go into more details. In what way is this glittery rainbow thing going on, this glowing rainbow light -like thing going on? And it says, it is like Mizuni Ukabu Abura. Um, so it's glow, sorry, I'm not focused today. Uh, it's glow in the way of a, um, oil, oil floating, floating oil. Right. In what? Oil floats in what? Of oil floats in water. Right. Water floating. Oil and floating. it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow in, in oil floating on water. Hi. The ball, it glitters like a rainbow. I just, there's, we can't, don't really have rainbow color. It rainbow colorly <laughs> glitters. Um, the rainbow glitter that is occurring on the, the ball is like oil that is floating in water. Um, we'd kind of almost have to say the rainbow ball that glitters. But it literally just says the light that is emitting from this. Well, it's 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 rainbow colored, so the act of emitting light is rainbow colored. Um, let's show. Um, so this is Wednesday in Japanese. Can you read it for me? Suiyobi. Perfect. So water is read as sweet when it is married. So how do you read the water radical? In the water water kanji? Sweet. So so. Um, can you read this random sentence for me? Kyo wa suyobi janai. So this mean? So, what does this mean? Today is not Friday. It's not Wednesday. Suyobi. The Sui water day is Wednesday. Um the days of the week, which I haven't really taught you. It is um 
Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so Sunday is Nichiyobi, which is also sun. Um, I just did this in the wrong order. I'll do that over there. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Monday is Moon Day in Japanese, so also the same, Getsuyobi. Tuesday is Fire Day. That's Kayobi. Wednesday is Water Day, Suyobi. Thursday is Wood Day, Mokuyobi. Friday is Metal Day or Gold Day, which is Kinyobi. And Saturday is Doyobi, which is uh, Dirt Day. Right. Um, so those are the days of the week. So Suyobi is Wednesday. Water Day. Um, can you read this word for me? Suisho Dama. Hi. So Sho means crystal. Any idea what a Suisho Dama is? A water crystal ball. It is a water crystal ball. So you would imagine a ball that is made out of some kind of crystal-like substance that you could probably see through would be my guess, because it's like a water ball that is like crystal. It's not just a ball of water, which would just break. So it's a ball that is made out of crystal that looks like water, which I would guess would mean it's see-through. So in English, we just would call this a crystal ball, or perhaps there's another word for it, sui shou dama. But anyway, it started with sui and ended with dama. What did it have in the middle? What was this crystal word? So. Oh. Hi, sure. Perfect. So here we have Khan and Nebody talking. What happened? Uh, nani sore? What is that? Sui sho damada. A water crystal ball. So, so. Um, do you know what nigaku means from nigaki agerareta? Nigaku. Nebri no suega. Migaki agerareta ishi no yuka ni atatta. Atatte. 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 This sentence say that Nebri was banging the cane onto the stone pavement? Hi. On the stone flooring. That was migaki agerareta at some point in his life. So currently, it is pika pika suru. So it say here that the 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 stone flooring was right. hit upon by right. Agerareta. No, atatte. Hi, migaki ageta is to polish up. Yep. So nobody stain hit the floor, the wooden floor that was polished up. Perfect. So migaku means to polish, and migaku. Ki ageru is to polish up. Um, so what is the ta form, the past tense form of to polish? The past tense is miga. Miga migaita. Hi, migaita. Perfect. Let's go read this random sentence. Meshi sky wa sui shodama o migaita. So it here it say that the servant polishes the water uh, crystal ball. Hi, the servant polished those the crystal ball. Um, do you know how to read this word? Shomen no kumo no suto. Okay, so right. it's shomen. Hyomen. Hyomen. What does hyomen mean? Hyo. Hyo no kumo no. Hyomen is the surface of something. Surface. Hi. So this could be like the, the surface of anything, like a box, the table. So a table surface is normally the top of the table versus the legs of the table. But this is it. it can it, theoretically the legs could also be referred to with hyomen, um, because like pillars, for example, you could refer to the surface of the pillars using hyomen. But you would assume if you said the hyomen of the table, you're talking about the biggest 
surface of the table. <laughs> um, but it literally just means the the surface. So here it says Hyomen no Kumo no Su, which is the spider webs of the surface. So meaning the surface has spider webs on it, which in this specific context was on a picture frame. So the surface of the picture frame had spider webs on it. So this Hyomen can mean refer to picture frames, tables, anything. Um, probably not humans. You probably would use a different word to refer to a surface of a human. But the hyo part of this word shows up in hyojo, which is your facial expression. So you can see how men, which is surface and hyo, right there, kind of has that little connection between them. Do um, you know what mainichi means? Mainichi. Mainichi is every day. Perfect. So I started with my. What did it end with? Nichi. You know what day of the week is Nichi Obi? Nichi Obi is Sunday. So, so. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Hi. My Nichi Yojinbo wa Migaku. So here, Migaku is to polish. Hi. The bodyguard polish. Every day he polishes. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this word? Kumote. Or by Perfect. Kumo. What kumo does kumote mean? From to, kumoru? To become cloudy. Here so, is so. cloudy in. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi, it's kumote ita yomen o bigako. Let us muddy up no no i'm sorry let us polish let's polish the surface of the clouded no, I'm Hi, sorry. the clouded, the clouded surface, surface. Hi. it's kind of interesting we actually do this kind of like the same thing with past tense verbs in english where if a verb is an ed it can kind of act as an adjective right clouded surface rather than saying the surface that was clouded Hi. Yeah, it little... become if a verb ended in ed, it become an adjectival. Hi, verb. in English. So, so. Hi. Kind of fun to think about. Um, our next word is kinu. Kinu is silk. It's just a mm -hmm. very fancy fabric. Um, this word right here ended with nichi. You know what it started with? My nichi. Perfect. What day of the week is suiyobi? Uh, sui yobi is Wednesday. Perfect, Wednesday. Can you read the sentence for me? Mai nichi kinu de sui dama o migaku. Every day I polish the um water crystal ball using silk. Perfect. Kinu. Um, so igai means um, our limit is outside. So this is very similar in use as shika, except for. Because guy is outside and we're putting the limit. So this is the outside. And we're just referring to what's going on outside of whatever we're talking about. Like if we say kinu igai, that means outside of um, silk, which is very similar to shika, meaning except for sh silk, do not do blah, blah, blah. Um, basically. So if it's outside of whatever is modified, then it's going to tell you some information about that. So the outside limit. It makes sense in context. Um, okay, so let's go read what Nebody said. Kore kara wa omae ga kore o mai nichi migaku no dazo. Kinu igai de. Migaite. Migaite wa naran. Hiyomen ga kumote. 
使えなくなるならなからな。So, first off, we have Kore kara wa omae ga kore o mai nichi migaku no dazo. This no dazo is kind of like a way to make a statement into an order. It's an ordery statement. We've seen this before. This a, he basically just talks like that sometimes because he sounds like he's just saying, This is what you got to do. You will be doing this, basically, is what this is. Kore kara wa from here on out. Omae ga you, kore o, this, mai nichi, every day, migaku no, dazo, you will polish this every day. Perfect. Contextually, what is he talking about? Do you remember? Here he's talking about the dama or the tama. So, 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 the sui sho dama. Perfect. Now he gives some important information about the migakuing that's going on. So rather than saying kino de using silk, it says kino igai de migai de wa naran. So this is basically like um do not do this. Um naran here is him talking like an old man, and wa is the stressful marker. Which is saying migai de oran, right? Oranai. But he's using nara instead. はい。キヌイガイデ。ミガイデはならん。はい。ミガイデ、from ミガク。ミガイデはならん。So we will not do not polish. With anything other than the, the, the silk. Yes, you、e、can、guy. definitely polish it, that, translate that way if you want to. Perfect. But here, you guys say other than, right, Mani? Yes. It says kino. So we get the silk, and we're putting a limit here, and we're saying anything that is outside of that. So the outside of silk group is what it says.、Um, hey. So that, that's why that, that right there is saying this is our baseline, basically. E marks the baseline for things, and it normally goes after a noun like this. And then guy tells us what we're doing with that baseline. So guy means outside. So it means we are outside of the silk, and anything that is outside of the silk qualifies as a filler for the de here. So I'm just teaching it this way that we, whenever you see E, You can kind of guess what it means. Like, ijo, for example, means the limit and then on top of the limit. So it means you're talking about everything that goes above it versus everything outside of it.、Um, so、uh, it, that, that, I just teach it this way because I feel like it makes it easier in the future when you learn the other words that are similar to it. But it does mean except for. So if you said shika, it would be the same, right? Except for cloth, do not polish. But literally, it says, Polishing with an item that is not cloth is not, is, shall not happen, basically, is what it's saying here. So, item that is cloth, things that are outside of that, you should not polish. So, basically, it says not cloth items. Using not silk items, do not polish. Does that make sense? As like a little translation. Wakara. Hi. And then he gives us a reasoning for why he shall not do that. He s a y s here that he yo men ga kumote sukae naku naru kara na. So he s a y because、um, sukae naku naru, you will to, to not use sukae n a i What does naru mean? To, to become. Hi, to become sky n i g h t Not skau, right? Skau is to use. Skawanai means to not use. We got s k a e d u right? Edu, which is what form? Edu is the, um, is the, is the, um, I, passive form, is the, potential is the form. acted upon. You're thinking、oh, potential, potential form, form is. Da de, I'm、oh, sorry, um, a de do is potential form. So I'll be tsukawa de do. 
that'd be to be used. We're doing tsuka edu. Edu is passive form. Tsuka u ends in u, not do. Tsuka edu. So poten- sorry, uh, potential. I don't know what to say. The can form. Can use a tsuka edu. So tsuka nai means can't use. Tsuka nai. No, no. So here he say that the surface Hi. of, I guess the te, this this te in my mind feels almost like a soft if or a soft when. So no, he said, yeah, I guess you could say that. When the surface become cloudy, Hi. when it is cloudy, it's become unusable. It's sukai and not good. You could translate it at that. Specifically, it is saying um, if you polish it with a silk, a cloth that is not silk, then what will happen is that it will become cloudy and you cannot use it. However, as an and, this does mean so, right? It will become cloudy so you will not be able, it will come to be that you cannot use it anymore. Right. So... Um, you're right that you can use a little if is a little bit um, weird as a choice for the sentence, um, but it so so is a little bit better, right? Because it's not really if this happens. It says when this happens, this will happen if you do this, basically. So the if was insinuated in the previous sentence with a kata, right? Because kata means because. So oh, yeah. when you polish it with a cloth that is not silk, the the surface will become cloudy, and you will be and it will come to be that you will not be able to use it. So use the silk. Hi. Oh, yeah. Very important for Adeshi to know this. Um, um, can you read this word for me again? Abite. Hi, abite. What does that mean? Absorb to soak up. So so. Um, so pitatto was a sound effect in the sentence. Um, iki o shizume, shibuyaku te o ugokasu uchi ni yoyaku harigane ga pitatto hamatte doa nobu ga mawatta. Any idea what this pitatto means? Pitatto is, um, king ga pitatto wa Contextually, the main character is picking a lock. He's while his hand is moving swiftly. Finally, the wire hamaru's in a pitatto kind of way, and the doorknob spins. Pitatto here is a it's a it's, it's a click. It's a kind of it is like a clicking noise. Correct. Um, pitatto comes from the the um, word um, pitari, which basically means like accurately or like exactly. Um, this is the sound basically of the clicking noise going on, which is probably where that comes from. Like a nice clicking noise, perfect type of noise. Um, but basically the wire goes right where it should be, you know? Like when the reason why the clicking noise is happening is not because there's a clicking mechanism in the doorknob, right? It's because you're poking the things just correctly that the noise comes out, right? As a consequence of the accurate stabbing of the item. So hamaru just means to be stuck into something. So we're knowing it got stuck into the right position because of the pitari, which led to it to being unlocked. Because you can hamaru something without it being without the door being unlocked. So the pitari makes it more obvious that this is why the door unlocked. It's because we stuck the wire in and it went in right to where we were aiming for that wire to go and a pitato. pitato. So accurately. Um do you remember how to read what this word meant? Unazuita from Unazuku. Unazuita. Unazuku. Shirushi is a gesture, and we turn it into a adverb to modify unazuita. Unazuita. So, we should all unazuita. Chanto kiyeteru yo. 
Ito shiru shini unazuita. I felt like he nodded. Either he Aye, nodded. Yep. Yeah. Unazuku right. means to nod. As a symbol that I'm totally listening to you guy. So chanto and pitani are very similar words. Um, but you wouldn't you're not really interchangeable. Um but they're like the same meaning, but they're just used in different contexts. They both mean like exactly right. Chanto, it's like to do something accurately, like what you should be doing. Um, pitari kiteru feels too much pointed, right? Because you should be listening for a long period of time. So that more diligence is chanto, while pitari is more like a moment of exactness. Um, is how I'll describe that. So it might not make sense in the context totally. Um, so right here, um, I'm just checking if you know how to read these two words, but I just covered the whole sentence for you. That was a cool sentence. Hi, nebari ga deshi no ore ni kono shigoto o makasenta. Hi, what did nebari do? Makase, makase. Hi. He, he, uh, he, he, he. Yes. He handed over or he delegated. Hi. Delegates the work to um to me who is his disciple. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, pitari was that accurate sound effect. Um it doesn't always take to, but it can take to. Here we're using no. Pitari. Hi. Um Mommy, but that, that Pitari was the sound when he clicked the locks, right? It Mommy? is the sound when he clicked the lock. That is correct. Um, the difference is just is pitato. Um, with pitari, um, we normally don't have the toll, but you can't have the toll for it. It's the same sound effect. It's kind of like we've seen other sound effects do this, where there's a longer form of the sound effect rather than a short one. Um, pitato focuses more on the single moment, I would say. Well, pitari, um is here but basically it means like an exact fit pitari which i said is very similar to chanto um so pitatto hamatte means you stuck in the wire so it was an exact fit so here the exact fit is modifying the word shigoto meaning the job is an exact fit for somebody the job is the exact fit for somebody. So here it's saying, I nodded. For, a, for an apprentice of the magician, for a magician apprentice, it is a perfect job. Perfect. That's a great or, way or of a describing. fitting job. I'm sorry. Well, a perfect job is fine, but yeah, literally, a fitting job is more of a direct translation. So the idea is that it fits in correctly, so it makes a ping noise. Ping. 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 Um, that's where that sound effect comes from. Do you know how to say three things in Japanese? Hi, it's mitsu. Hi, mitsu. with the glottal stop. Mitsu. Mitsu. Hi. Hi. Um, you know how to say this word? It's uh, yoka. Close. Yoko. What yoko. direction is yoko? Horizontal. Perfect. And do you know what this furu meant? Furu here is to shake. But Perfect. here to shake horizontally. Hi, hi, hi. You know what a jutan is? Another word for a jutan is a shikimono. A shikimono. The judan here means a carpet. Yes. Yep. Judan. Sorry. Judan means carpet, and so does shikimono. They both mean carpet. Um, as far as I could tell when I was researching it, they were exactly the same. Um, can you read this little phrase for me? Here, say, Susumi o hiraita. Hirai. He opened. Hiraku. Hi. He opened. Hi. He opened the uh wrapping. Perfect. This is me. 
Okay, so let's go. Actually, tell me how to read this word. Yoko. Hi. So yoko does mean horizontal, and that is the meaning of the word. It has a second insinuated meaning that can mean beside, because things that are beside you are right horizontal to you. So you wouldn't use it beside you if it was like under you or above you. It should be beside you as in next to you in, in the horizontal plane of besideness. Right? right. Um, okay, now you get to go read the sentence. Nebari wa sono suisho dama o isu no yoko no Jutan ni soto okuto sarani mitsu no tsumi o haraita. Context question Is the chair on the carpet? The chair. Is to the side of the carpet. Is yokono. So for whatever reason, the chair is not on the carpet. <laughs> it's, it's on the wood floor. You already say that nobody um he oku and soto. A uh, soto is, is softly. Softly. So he softly, softly places the water crystal ball or that, so no, that water crystal ball on the carpet that is to the side of the chair. Carpet that is on the side of the chair. And Sarani, furthermore, he opened, he opened it, he opened uh, three wrappings. Perfect. Um, he opened three more wrappings. Three so more. Sarani, meaning furthermore. Furthermore. This is correct. It does mean furthermore. How? Ever, that tends to sound really weird in English. That sounded weird, right? When you're saying this in English. Furthermore, right. he opened uh, three more um, wrappings. Because that's not really what it's expressing here like that means in English. Um, do you know exactly what they're expressing here? What is the sarani actually modifying? Here is modifying the action of hiraita yeah so basically he's opening furthermore rather than furthermore three things he's opening which basically means he opened something earlier and we're adding to that we're saying not only did he open the one thing but he's opened more things which were the three things so the sarani doesn't, doesn't really need to be here but you could say like motto right uh to mean more or right. um but so you can't say more here as a reason why they're using sarani, because mo means already, but mo ichido would mean one more time, right? But it's in past tense, so we can't use mo. So for past tense, we probably just use sarani as that more word, because <laughs> mo cannot be used past tense to mean more, because um, it mean, turns into already when it's in past tense. That would be my hypothesis, um, because it's the same as moto, right? On top of that. Um, but yeah, it just sounds weird in English. Okay, do you know what tabini means? Tabini. Tabini. I got it. Right. Tabi, 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 tabi is time. One, one, each time. Right. Each time he was, this, this is the context. This time, each time he got it. Perfect. So each, each time he time goes he up a step. Up. Hi. Perfect. Let's go read the sentence from the book. 
どれも水晶玉だ。包みを開く、開くだ。No, 開く、then it's 旅。はい。開く旅に、出て、出てくる玉が大きさなる。大き、大きくなる。大きくなる。大きく、大きく、大きく。Here, 大きい takes the く ending so that it can modify なる。はい、correct。So it say that it becomes large. Correct. 大きくなる。It becomes large. It's the sizes of the tama. Are they like changing form? This is a context question rather than a grammar one. I'm so, here it say that he say doremo sui shodamada, whichever, whichever of the balls. Right. It, they are what? That he opened, that he hirakuta.、Mm, that I... each, every time he opened them, every, for every one of the wrapping that he opened, the ball that came out are larger and larger. Yes, I, correctly. That's, that's exactly what it says. Perfect. Yep.、Mm -hmm. each, each ball is bigger than the last ball, but it, when it, each time he opens it,、um, which I believe is probably just three balls since they were Pacific in the last line. He took out three more balls, and when he unwrapped them, each were bigger than the last. Do you happen to know why this kudu is here? So it's dead, dead kudu. It c o m e out. Hi. Yeah. Specifically, it's coming out closer to where the main character is. Because before it was in the box and the main character couldn't see him, right? But since now they've come out and Nevity is probably putting on the floor kind of relatively close to、um, where, ne where、um, Khan is. Right? So this is the box. It's going on this side of the box rather than the opposite side of the box.、Um, could also be passing them to、um, nobody or planning on, I mean, Khan or planning on doing that soon.、Um, do you know what the Hiza is? Hiza is the elbow or the Close. knee? It is the knee. Hi. It is the knee.、Yep. Hiza. Hi. Hi. Theoretically, we saw it in this word right here, which is Hiza Mazuki from Neveriwa. Mon no mai ni Hiza Mazuki an、um, kagi ana o jitto mitsumete iru. Jitto mitsumete iru. He is staring unblinkingly. He is staring、はい um, constantly. Not that much. This jito is unbroken. It's an unbroken thing. So if he's staring at the kagiana, what is the kagiana? The keyhole. Where, how do you think he's able to stare at the keyhole? I feel like nobody is at a normal height, right? Right. So here he, Izama Zuki. So his knee, He, he d o something to his knee. Yes, he's done. Zama is his knee, and the action is Zuki. Hi. It is a compound word using the word knee in it. Hi. So this means that he b e n d the knee. Yes. Specifically,、um, this insinuates that he kneeled, like he set his knee、um, on the floor. You could think about that. Hi.、Right. He, knew, he knew his knee. Right. He set the needle for Zuki. Zuki. Oh, Zuku. I wonder what this kanji for Zuku is.、Uh, theoretically, this doesn't have the Hiza、um, kanji in it, but it has to be related to Hiza.、Oh, so, uh, the kanji they use has like, is a Hiza ma Zuku,、um, is this kanji, which is, it's dangerous for your legs. Hiza ma Zuku. So,、um, kneel down. But Hiza. It's, it's kind of like kuchibiru, right? Kuchi.、Um, sorry, kuchi is mouth, but kuchibiru is lips. 
Very obviously, the coochie in these two words must be the same coochie for mouth. Um, but they do have a separate kanji for it. So you don't use uh, kuchi mouth plus biru. Hi. Same thing here with the hi, hi, hiza mazuku. The hiza is very much from knee, knee, the knee um, to make kneel. But it was a, basically it was a compound word, very old in Japanese. That's probably how it is. So they just kind of made a new word for it. Um, and there it is. Good enough. It's like kuchi biru. Um, you know what shagande means? It's very similar to hizamakuru, hizamazuku. Shagande. Oh, hizamazuku. Shagande, hi, hizamazuku. Shagan, shagande. I don't know. Is, shagande is, is to crouch. To crouch. That's when you bend your knees while walking and bend your back as well. Do your Shaka. little crouch. Shaka. So hiza mazuku is the kneel, right? To set a knee on the floor, you know, like this, right? You're not really walking if you're doing hiza mazuku. Shagande is just crouching, so you can walk with shagande. What does nozoki, nozoki komu mean? Nozoki komu. Nozoki komu. komu is to go into and here nozoku. Right. We got komu for going to, and then we got nozoku, which is a hard word for you. Nozoku has this kanji. Moko o. He crouch and he stares. No, he glances over. He nozoku. He glances. Hi. Nozoku means to peek. Peek. You peek. Yep. So right here it's to peek into, to look into. Nozoku. Nozoku kind of insinuates like, um, like you know, like you peer around something or you peer into something, that kind of idea. Versus just staring like mitsumeru or glaring like nirameru or anything like that. It's just to peek at. So he peeks into. Um, here it says he peeks to the other side after he crouches because he's peeking over the over a corner, right? While crouching because there might be a guard standing right here. That's the context of this line. Hi. Uh, specifically, uh, this is actually the doriba, so a different area that he was crouching and peeking, but same idea. So this one here is a different verb. Um, so you have to here rather than zu. Which is very interesting because zu and zu are pronounced the same. Take with that as you will that uh, he's a he's a mazuku and he's a o tsuku do have a are very similar. Any idea what he's a o tsuku means? He's a o tsuku. Tsuku here is an attaching yep. attaching action. So he need he he needs someone. Good guess. Specifically, he attaches his knee normally to the floor. Uh, he's old so good. Hi. So this is very similar to knee kneeling, except for normally both knees are on the floor. Um. So you know, like the little anime girl going, "I'm never falling." Oh, <laughs> their knees. Oh, here's... Or doing do doza, for example. I can't say the word. Uh, is also going on the knees. Anything where your two knees on the floor, that is hizel tuku. You attach your knees to the ground. Both and money, the other one was hizama. Yes. Suki. It was hizuki. Zama zuku, which was conjugated as ki. Oh, so it's also zuku. No, it's yeah. a different zu. This is a zu, the other is a suku. Hi, this is tu. This is zu. However, zu, zu with 10 10 marks and su with 10 10 marks are pronounced the same in Japanese. They're both zu, right? This is zu and this is zu. It's kind of like how g and g, right? G, g, these are both pronounced the same. And the kanji for chi, blood, and this one as well, land. The kanji for it, the hiragana reading for it, will, whenever it's being vibrated, will be very random, whether or not it'll be G or chi. 
the, the she or chi kanji with the ten ten marks, they're I... they're very random, right? Even though theoretically this is chi and this is also chi, but they do get G's randomly thrown in there just for whatever reasons. Um, I'm just saying it's it might be possible that with Izama Zuku, which who knows where that came from because it has its own kanji, I'm just saying might be related to Tsuku to, to attach. Um, but I, I don't actually know for sure. This is a random like, what do these words mean? Well, they have to do with the knees and attaching. Um, Hizama Zuku is only one knee is attached, right? That's a kneeling. Which, rather than planting your feet. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Orewa hiza o suite nozo kikonda. I kneels and peek into. Hi. So kneeling was he za ma zu ku. To kneel means you have one knee on the floor. The other one is normally more like this, right? Like when you ask someone to marry you. Um, this is the position you're in, right? You have one leg down, one up. One knee is attached to the floor. Tsuku, which means to attach, and we have hiza. This is insinuating both hizas are attached. So what do you think is going on here? He is, um, he's not kneeling. He's, he's completely on the floor. He's, he's, he's doing a waza. He's on yeah. the floor. And he's <laughs> peeking exactly at here. The context is the the tama. He's Probably, peeking at the yes. tama because he nobody places on the carpet. So so on the jan jan, and, and that's definitely the kind of thing that the main character would be very interested in peeking into. Right, he's very waku wakuing about it. Um, how do you read this word? Yoko. Perfect. And what does pitari mean? Dari is the um is fit. Perfect. It's a good fit. Perfect. So I'm sure you know what kaze means, right? Hi, kaze here means win. Perfect. So you could use this exact same kanji, which is no longer a noun, but instead a not adjective, to make the word fu. Fu does not mean wind, not at all, unless you're talking about metaphorically. Fu means manner or way um for example it is normally modified with konna sonna or anna to mean like that this kind of way right in that kind of way with the word way being fu and in that kind of being sonna konna anna um could you do me a favor and read the sentence down here for me hi Sona fu ni modora nai daro. So they probably will not return in that kind of way. So it just means that kind of way. And with ni, that's our adverb marker in. So the act of modoruing would be in the act of fu ni, right? Kind of like yoni, which would be like. Um, but here's literally the way, so in that kind of way. What do you think donafu means from donafu na or donafu ni? Hey. Donafu dona such such a manner. Hey, kind of means that dona has a little bit of a question, right? Like dochi dona doko. So it means what kind of way, right? Because do. Marks questions, right? Doko rather than koko, or so, right? We got these are sonna, konna, and anna. So there's going to be a donna for the questioning, just like how there's koko, soko, and asoko. There's also doko for where, or are, kore, and dore. Dore means which. So whenever you have those a, ko, sos, there's always going to be the do normally, um, opposite for the for the questioning version. So rather than that sort of way, it'd be which sort of way or what sort of way. Does that make sense? Right, makes sense. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so let's go read what Khan said. 
Um, suisho damate. Nani suka undaro? Kore donna fu ni suka unda. Regarding the water crystal ball, Nani Skaundaro, what is it used for? I wonder. Kore, this, Donna Funi Skaundaro, in what way can, I'm sorry, Skaunda. In what way can it be used? Perfect. What way is it used? The word can when? isn't actually in the sentence. I'm only I... pointing that out because you did struggle with sky earlier. I... Otherwise, I'd be like, because when you're unda. translating, it could be similar. Just in what way is it used, right? Habitually. What way is it used? Perfect. Do you know what toshite means? Like, messy, sky, toshite, yakoni, tatsi, so ni nai? Hoste. With this toste is from his personal perspective. Mm, I'm thinking about nitotte. Nitotte. Ore nitotte would mean from my point of view. Toste. This is kozo wa meshi tsukai toste yako ni. Hi. This toste here is um in the position of Hi. being a servant. Hi. So as a servant. Boy doesn't look useful. Perfect. Boy doesn't look useful. Hi. So what is the negative right now form of naru to become? So to not be becoming. Naranai. Naranai. Nara, nara nara means do not become, will not become, is not, did, does, does becoming not habitually. I wanted not becoming right now. For example, yondeiru means reading right now. And not reading right now would be yondei nai. But um, yomanai means do not read. I do not read. I never read. Me? No. Yomanai. Yomanai, no. I, I wouldn't read that, no. But yondei nai means I'm not reading that at this moment. Or yondei nakatta would mean I was not reading that at the previous mentioned moment. Right? So how would you say not becoming right at this moment here we have in the in the present in the um so he, if we talk, we talk about perspective well let's so start with become what does becoming mean how do you say i am becoming coming right I, now not that not the iru hi not the iru i am becoming right now so how would you say i am not becoming right now Hi, it is not the inai. Perfect, not the inai. Perfect. Um, so not the inai can literally mean um not becoming right now. Um, sometimes it can have a little bit of a second connotation, where um it means like you're kind of insulting someone, saying that they're not doing something correctly. Is the big context of it like. Managa not the night would mean you don't have any manners. They don't have any manners, and you wouldn't say this to someone's face. That's that level of rude <laughs> if you're using not the night to mean that. Um, so the main character is kind of using not the night in a like in between these two kind of ways. Like it, it makes sense in context. Um, but the not becoming right now, I'm just letting you know it can be a little bit rude if you're not literally talking about something not becoming, right? Um, 
So now we have, so the previous question was, how, what do we use? What, how is the magical crystal ball used? And what did Nebody say? He said here, Sui Shou Dama, Sui Shou Dama Tos Des Gau. So Tos Des is as for the, as for. No. It's not as, like as. I'll go back for you. Um, Meshi Tsukai Tos Des Yaku Ni Tachi So Ni Nai. So this is not as for a servant not useful it is as a servant as the a boy servant. is not useful hi so as a crystal ball hi right. as it is a what ball, uh use it is use as a crystal ball it is used habitually right use as right. a crystal ball yes so in english we do past tense curse our english <laughs> Used, used as an English ball. You use it used. as it the thing that thing is used is in the use. <laughs> use as normally uses. Ball. Sam uses that as a crystal ball. Use as crystal ball. Zen zen. Kotae ni natte nai. So. Kotae ni. Here we have a verb. Followed by the knee particle. Theoretically. So, kotae on its own does come from the verb kotaeru, but it has been used common enough in Japanese to count as a noun on its own. So, kotae means answer. And it it's not like tabe. Like, tabe is the verb taberu with ru dropped off and doesn't have a noun position in the dictionary. But kotae is used enough as a noun that if you want to say the noun nouncer, you would use kotai, right? Rather than um, some other word like mondai no kotai. <laughs> I don't think there's another way to say answer in Japanese. At least I can't think of it on top of my head. Um, but for our purposes, this is a noun. Rather than being like, you can't say tabe ni natte nai. That would be grammatically incorrect. You can't do stem form ni naru. Hai. Zen zen kotae ni natte nai. So I'm tr I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. what is this ni is doing here. This you ni don't know what the ni is doing here. Okay. Let's, let's... So this ni following um, now. What does neko ni naru mean? Becoming cat. What does kotae ni na na naru mean? Becoming answer. Yep, to become an answer. So something became an answer. So not te inai means to not become an answer. That's literally what it's saying here. So it says that did not become an answer at all, which was his question, right? The question was, how is this used? It is used as it is, is what Nebody said. That is not an answer. I did not receive an answer from him, but he's, he's, he's using not deny as a kind of, I would say, rude way to be like, that is not an answer. It's saying the words he gave, this suisho uh, tama toshite tsukau, this has not become an answer. It's not becoming an answer. It isn't an answer, right? No matter how you look at it, it's not answering really the question. It is a nonsense answer, right? How do you, it's like say like, how do you use a gun? You use it as a gun, right? You're not really answering a question. You're just restating the question as a statement. So the thing you said, the answer in quotation marks, didn't actually become an answer. It was not an answer, right? So these words did not become an answer, is what it's saying. And zen zen means not at all. Did not Hi. become an answer at all. Um, but yeah, it is hard because you had to not directly translate this. Because we say we don't say become an answer in English. We can't say that. So 
In English, you just say it wasn't an answer, perhaps. That's not an answer at all. That didn't answer my question or something. You could do anything like that. Um, but just the not the nice use here, like I said, to be kind of rude <laughs> in, in Khan's head. He's complaining, basically. The not the nice shows how he's complaining. Like I said, you could use not the nice with like managa, not the nice, meaning that someone doesn't have any manners. But literally, it says, you're not becoming manners. Manners will not be becoming right now from you, <laughs> which sounds very weird in English. So in English, we just would say they do not have answers or there's no manners on that person. So yeah, it, it was it is a hard one to format because of that. Um, and this is where we're ending for the day. Any questions before we go? No question, Money. Thank you for lesson. Nice. Okay, I will stop.